Hello, youngster. Welcome back to our class number 12. All right, let's go together to the virtual classroom. And here we will find our class number 12 in this new project, Get Ready for Movers, part two. Okay, let's go. Here we have the first activity for today's class. We are going to use Discover English 2, page 39. Okay. All right, cities, okay? Well, the idea is to look at the photos here and we have to choose the correct adjective, all right? So pay attention. Let's take a look to the first picture. Here we have, it's quiet or noisy? Well, in this case, noisy is the correct one, okay? But what about the other adjective? Quiet, tranquilo, all right? And noisy, ruidoso. Okay, if we pay attention to this picture, we can see, of course, it's very noisy. Okay, let's pay attention to the second picture. What about this picture? Let's take a look at the adjectives here. It's boring or it's exciting? What do you think, exciting? What do you think about, about that adjective? Yes, very good. It's excitante. Or emocionante. So what do you think? Come on, write the adjective on the chat. Come on. Picture number two. Is it boring or exciting? Yes, very good. It's exciting. Excellent. Let's pay attention to number three. In this picture, all right, we have two adjectives, cheap or expensive. Well, as you know, cheap is barato and expensive is caro, all right? So here we can see a dress. Well, what do you think? Come on, write the adjective on the chat. Is it cheap or expensive? Yes, very good, it's expensive. Excellent. Number four, here we can see people, all right? They have umbrellas, why? Okay, let's take a look to the adjectives here. What about or dry? Well, when we say wet is húmedo, all right? And dry is seco. So what do you think? Is it wet or dry? Come on, write your answer. Excellent. If people are using umbrellas, we can say that it's wet. Very good. What about the last picture? Well, we have two adjectives here again. It's clean or is it dirty? Okay, clean is limpio and dirty is sucio. Okay, so pay attention to this picture and please tell me through the chat which is the correct adjective here. Is it clean or dirty? Yes, very good, it's clean. Excellent children. Well, now we are going to keep on working in this cover English too, so here we can see a picture, all right? Tell me, children, write your answer on the chat, remember. How many children can you see here? Yes, very good. There are three children. Um, do you remember their names? If you remember their names, write them on the chat, come on. Ben and Monica, excellent. Where are they? Can you tell me through the chat? Very good, excellent. They are in London. And um, look, do they feel happy? So on the chat, come on. Very good. Okay, now we are going to read this dialogue, okay? And at the same time, we are going to eat. Okay, let's listen to the audio together. Unit 4A, exercise one. Listen and read. What do the children want to do today? Ben's American cousin Beth is in England this week. Today she's in London with Ben and Monica. What an amazing view! Is that the Millennium Bridge? No, the Millennium Bridge is smaller. Millennium? Wow! Is it the oldest bridge in London? No, Beth, it's a new bridge. Ugh. Hey, are you okay, Beth? Ugh. I feel terrible. Oh, Ben, how are you? Here, have a drink. Thanks. 
Can we go on a boat? That's a nice idea. Let's ask Ben's dad. Then after the boat, we can go shopping for souvenirs. Have we got time? Yes, it's only ten o'clock now. Hey, listen. It's Big Ben. Ben isn't big. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. It's a clock, silly. Look. Wow, this is the biggest clock in London. Yes, sir. And it's the noisiest, too. All right, very good. So did you understand what happened? Okay, so we know that Beth, Beth is Ben's cousin, all right? And Beth, Ben, and Monica are in London. All right, very good. Now, let's do together exercise number two. Here, we have to say true or false. Are you ready to write your answers on the chat? Come on, help me to complete this activity. Number one is done. Number one says, Beth lives in London. All right, very good. It's false because we know that she, all right, is American. Let's do number two. The Millennium Bridge is very old. Try to read the dialogue again and tell me if exercise number two is true or false. Come on, write your answer on the chat. Very good, people. It's false, all right? Very good, is false. Excellent. Number three, Ben is having a good time. Well, I can see over here. Please tell me through the chat. Hey, are you okay, Ben? I feel terrible, he said. All right, so number three, what do you think is true or false? Very good, is false. Number four, Ben has got time for shopping. What do you think, people? Write your answer on the chat, come on. Yes, very good, it's true. Excellent, let's write true over here. And the last one, Big Ben is a big clock. Well, here in this part, they talked about the big clock here, the Big Ben. Well, what do you think? Is it true or false? Very good, children. It's true, very good. Excellent. Well, now we are ready to continue with the following page. We are going to work on page number 41, all right? Here we are. Could, can you see here the grammar box? All right, let's read together this grammar box. Okay, let's take a look because here we have a lot of things that they are very important. Well, if we pay attention to the first sentence, we can read, Lulu is bigger than Lisa. ¿Ok? ¿Qué creen que están diciendo con esta oración? Lulu is bigger than Lisa. Cuéntenme en el chat, ¿qué están diciendo con esta oración? All right, very good. Nos están diciendo que Lulu, si prestamos atención, es más grande que Lisa. All right, comparen los tamaños. Por eso decimos, Lulu is bigger than Lisa. And what about the other sentence? ¿Qué pasa con la otra oración? Lenny is the biggest. Well, we can see that Lenny is here, all right? Cuando decimos Lenny is the biggest, ¿qué creen que estamos diciendo? Escriban sus respuestas en el chat. Yes, very good. En este caso estamos diciendo que Lenny es la más grande de todas, ¿ok? No es más grande que una sola, estamos diciendo que es más grande que todas. En cambio, en la primera oración solamente decimos que Lulu es más grande que Lisa. Ahora, si prestamos atención, ¿me pueden decir qué es lo que pasa con los adjetivos en cada una? Por ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que pasa con el adjetivo en esta primera oración? ¿Qué le estamos agregando? Very good. Le agregamos ER y R cuando queremos comparar. Cuando comparamos a Lulu con Lisa, estamos haciendo el comparative. Estamos comparando una con la otra. Le agregamos ER y luego le agregamos DAN. Ok. What about the second sentence? ¿Qué pasa con la segunda oración? ¿Qué creen que agregamos acá? Come on. Write your answer on the chat. Okay, very good. In this case, we add 
EST, agregamos EST y antes ponemos D. ¿Por qué? Porque le llamamos superlatives. Estamos comparando directamente a Lenny con todos, ¿sí? En este caso con Lulu y Lisa. ¿Ok? Very good. Ok, so now let's read the adjectives here. We have, for example, old. To make the comparative, we add ER, older. ¿Ok? And what about the superlative? Para comparar con todo el resto, decimos the oldest. All right. What about the next adjective? Big. Ok. Here we add G-E-R. Ok. Para hacer el comparativo, en big agregamos una G aparte y seguimos como siempre agregando ER. Luego, para hacer el superlative, decimos the biggest. All right. Well, now we have noisy. Noisy is noisier. Fíjense que acá como termina con Y, ponemos una I latina y luego ER. Para hacer el superlativo decimos the noisiest. Presten atención que en los superlativos utilizamos the adelante del adjective. Luego con nice tenemos nicer. Simplemente agregamos la R, ¿sí? Porque el adjetivo ya contiene la E. All right? And then we have the nicest. All right? Well, in this case, in the comparatives, acuérdense que en los comparativos, cuando comparamos una cosa con otra, agregamos la palabra than. Can you see? Okay, very good. Remember, this grammar box about comparatives and superlatives is very, very important. Okay, very good. Remember that if you have any question, you can ask your teacher through the chat. ¿Vieron que yo resalté? Okay, bien. Acá lo que les recomiendo es que ustedes también resalten todo lo que le agregamos a los adjetivos. La ER en el caso de los comparativos y EST en, la, en el caso de los superlativos. All right? This is very, very important. So please pick up a pencil if you want color red and please underline these examples. Very good. Well, now... We are going to look at the dialogue again, and we are going to look for examples about comparative and superlatives in this dialogue, all right? I'm going to show you the first part, and I want you to show me through the chat which are the examples that you can tell me that you see here in the dialogue, all right? R, y que estén comparando, all right? Y díganme si encuentran comparatives o superlatives. Juntos los vamos a resaltar. What can you see in the first part? Come on, write it on the chat. Yes, here, very good. No, the Millennium Bridge is smaller. Here we can see this adjective, and here we found that it has got ER. Can you see it? Very good, excellent. En este caso, estamos comparando, yes, the Millennium Bridge All right, estamos diciendo que es más chiquito, ¿ok? So tell me, did you find another example? It's very close. Yes, very good, here it is. Is it the oldest bridge in London? Is it the oldest? Well, here we can find a superlative. ¿Cómo nos damos cuenta que es un superlative? Porque tiene EST, all right? Can you see it? Okay, so I'm going to highlight it, but using another color. Very good. Okay, well, let's look for another example. Write it on the chat and tell me if you found another example. Yes, very good. Yes, I found it too. I'm bigger than you. Here we have a comparative. Okay, nos damos cuenta porque tenemos... ER en el adjetivo, I'm bigger, y miren que aparece acá también la palabra than, que la usamos en los comparatives, I'm bigger than you, ok, very good, and what about the last example, can you see more examples, yes, very good, excellent children, is it the biggest clock, es el reloj más grande en Londres, bien, acá tenemos superlative, porque termina en EST, all right? Y en este caso tenemos V adelante. Can you see it? Very good. I'm going to use another color. As you know, very good. And what about the last, last example? Yes, bed. And it's the noisiest too. 
Do you remember this adjective? Que habíamos dicho que era noisy, ruidoso, very good. If we say it's the noisiest too, estamos queriendo decir que es el más ruidoso, all right? Cuando utilizamos superlatives, siempre vamos a agregar de adelante del adjetivo, okay? And in this case, is the, it is superlative, so I'm going to use yellow, all right? Very good. Fíjense que marqué los comparativos con orange y los superlativos con yellow, ¿ok? Recuerden que los superlativos necesitan el de adelante, ¿lo ven? Y luego, cuando usamos los superlativos, los comparativos, perdón, ponemos than luego. I'm bigger than you. Soy más grande que vos, ¿all right? Is it clear, children? Remember that if you have all them, all them in the Zoom class, ¿all right? Very good. Ok, people, so now you are going to continue working with your teacher through Zoom. Ok, children, see you soon. Bye, bye.